A neighborhood crime alert coming out of St. John's County where deputies have arrested three teens. All three are potentially connected to several burglaries. The latest burglary happened yesterday afternoon on Scheidel Way in St. Augustine. We're told two of the suspects tried to get away, but deputies tracked them down thanks to the help of an alert witness who called 911. Channel 4's Francesca Amerker has that 911 call and spoke with a neighbor who says she's seeing more and more crime. Fran? And she's very shaken up. She says she is ready to get out of this neighborhood. But she was able to tell me that the neighbor whose home was broken into uh, actually houses a mother with children. And she says, fortunately, they were not home. This neighborhood may be quiet now, but Thursday afternoon, neighbors described it as chaos when multiple St. John's County deputies flooded the streets. I was sleeping. Um, I, I didn't get up until about 1.30. And I looked out my window and I saw all these police cars and I didn't know what was going on at the time. Jeanette Hull would find out that her neighbor's home across the street had been burglarized. But thanks to this 911 call from a neighbor who was just arriving home while the burglary was happening, deputies were able to respond quickly. They're breaking into the house right now. They're in the house. They broke out the window. The bicycle on the back patio. And the bicycle on the back patio, what, back, is, is that what they came on? Yeah. Just as the caller was describing two suspects to the dispatcher, another suspect appeared. Oh, there's another guy riding off now. He's got a backpack on. Uh, did his backpack. Thanks to those descriptions, officials were able to confront the three teenagers nearby. One was immediately detained after deputies say they found a stolen handgun in his waistband from a separate burglary. The other two tried running away, but canine units tracked them down. In the end, officials arrested two 14-year-olds along with a 15-year-old who they say stole electronics, jewelry, cash, and martial arts knives. They're now facing felony charges. I feel sorry for them because they're going to not have a life very much. They're going to have a record against them. And the sheriff's office says they were able to obtain a search warrant for another location, and there they found another handgun, a stolen handgun. We're now reporting live from Chesky Amaker Channel 4, the local station. Francesca, you mentioned the felony charges. Are these teenagers charged as adults? Well, to our knowledge, uh, Joy, we are told that they have been booked as juvenile so far, but that ultimate decision will be up to the state attorney's office. All right, Francesca Amberker reporting live for us tonight. Fran, thank you.